Hey, what's up, guys? It's Number One Pred here, and today, what we're bringing you guys is day number two of my 25 DNA bombs of Christmas. And uh, today, what you'll be watching is a Bow 27, in fact, Diamond Bow 27 DNA bomb on the map Riot, playing some team deathmatch. And this is actually a really, really, really clutch DNA bomb. Um, the reason for that is because I got my DNA bomb kill, so basically, my 30th, you know, gun kill in the streak. For the last kill of the game so obviously for team deathmatch it goes up to 75 kills so um i got a 30 kill streak but my kill was um so i'm i'm sorry i'm explaining this poorly i do apologize um my, my 30th kill for the streak was on the 75th kill of the game which means the last kill that for my, was for my streak was for the actual game so the dna bomb medal or not medal uh, the dna bomb icon didn't pop up However, after the game, I do go into the pre-game lobby just to double check whether I got it or not. And uh, fortunately, there was a vicious medal. And obviously, if you equate a vicious medal, that's a 30 kill streak. And then obviously, I didn't get any kills with any other kill streaks other than my gun, which means it's a 30 gun streak. Therefore, I got the DNA. So apologies for that absolutely horrendous, horrendous explanation there. Hopefully, you guys can forgive me. It's kind of a long-winded one, but um, just so you guys are 100% sure and clear as to what I meant, um, it's just really, really clutch. And um, not many people actually pay Team Deathmatch for DNA bombs, and I don't know why. I mean, Team Deathmatch is actually a pretty good mode to get your get your DNA bombs. And actually, I used to say that. I used to play all the time with friends and you know I always used to party up with people but out of how many DNA bombs I do have in total I can't exactly remember all of them but one have been solo and that's just kind of weird really considering I kind of being a little bit contradictory here saying that you know I don't like playing solo I don't find it fun but uh, I enjoy it in this game I don't know why um, I love playing Team Deathmatch, and that's obviously because it, it, it evolves on what I'm best at doing is, you know, slaying, getting the kills with my gun, and, you know, destroying enemies, not jumping on flags or objectives, whatnot. I do admit I'm starting to play, you know, Momentum a little bit more now, because um, obviously I'm playing Team Deathmatch. Some people may consider it a little bit too much, so I'm going to play some other game modes for you guys um, to be uploaded later on in the series. So uh, don't worry about that if you guys are, you know, a bit bored of Team Deathmatch. I'm pretty sure you guys aren't because, you know, I don't think it really matters what game mode you play, to be honest. But uh, for some people who are picky, like myself, then um, I wouldn't want to be seeing TDM 24-7. So don't worry, guys, I'll get some more out there for you on other game modes. And, uh, yeah, yesterday I, you know, said a question. Um, not said, <laughs> I gave you guys a question, which was, what was your favourite gun? in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and now I'm going to ask you this question what is your favourite map in Advanced Warfare because personally I kind of like Riot but I do think it's you know a little bit overrated in my opinion I don't it's kind of slow at times I can in Team Deathmatch you have to run around the whole map because I had to clutch this because I was running around the map 24-7 trying to look for enemies but my opinion Solar is my favourite map and I just love the way it plays, how you can jump on many things and, you know, navigate the map really, really well. But let me know what you guys think about the maps and what your favourite is in the comment section down below. Don't forget to drop that like rating as well, guys. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.